Okay, we ready? Let's do it. Come here! We are so proud at Niles North. We are so honored that your very own Mr. Sharma has been named recipient of the 2016 Golden Apple Award Excellence in Teaching. Thank you. I'm Jose Sanders from ABC7 Eyewitness News. One of 10 selected recipients out of 400 people. Tell me, what do you want to say to your students? <laughs> <laughs> you might wonder how this is happening, but uh, <laughs> teachers go into this because we want to work with young people, and really, you give our lives meaning. And so it's really a, a privilege to be able to work with you every day, and I know all your teachers feel that. So He deserves to win the Golden Apple because he is a teacher that cares so much. Like, I've never well, met a man single thing that students and are And every part single of. person. Like, I've never met someone that knows everything about, like, every student that they have. Like, I've been shocked when I, like, come into class every day and he remembers the little things. He's not only invested in our educational teaching, he's all about being out in their community, like, helping out with other people. He's so caring, so compassionate. So invested in everything he does, and he's so interested in everything. Sharma is a very inspiring teacher through Dance Marathon, through in-class, out-of-class, and he inspires hundreds of students every year, including myself. He's so involved with extracurricular activities such as hoop club, DM, uh, mock trials, etc. He's just really uh, taught me a lot about not just U.S. history, but how to be a good student overall. I think he deserves the Golden Apple Award because he just makes us all a better person. He makes us work harder. He makes us achieve stuff I never thought I could. And plus, he's just a great guy. We always have fun in class. He goes out uh, to fight for what he believes in, goes to Washington, D.C. to fight for his beliefs, and that's really inspiring. Let's give it up for Mr. Sharma Thank one more you. time. 2016 recipient.